The last thing I'm going to share with you is some advice. On, this is for the contractors. This is not for the DIY guys. I know the DIY guys are watching everything anyways. I mean, because they're commenting. I, I see who's commenting. These, these axles are heavier than what this trailer comes with. We do that with everything we own. We have to. We have to to haul like we do and to get the GVW we want so that we can legally haul what we do. This is Scott's gooseneck. This is his baby. Now, dirt, wet dirt would stick up in the front. It was quite dangerous. This raises high. This is higher off the ground, and it wasn't safe. So we did some research. The gravel haulers were using this material where everything slides out like it's on a Teflon pan. It's not cheap. It's, it's pricey, but I just wanted to show the contractors out there that watch. And I wanted the homeowners to see behind the scene kind of thing we do tear stuff up too we have potholes here in michigan we have road construction everywhere and there was a a road crew that ground out some of the material in a road and there was like a four inch step we traced it back to that so that what i'm going to take you to that's how that happened marcel is a great driver and it had nothing to do with with the driver and Scott wasn't there because he was back at the yard loading up for Saturday morning. And that's kind of what he and I do. We divide and conquer. So, all right. So I'll take you to our Friday night. Peace. Well, it's the end of a, another long week. And, you know, it's not always fun in games. We try... Don't you hate when that happens? I kind of feel lucky. We've bent a lot of axles over the years. Many. Usually a couple a year. This axle just worked its way. It, it Basically from the, the way we use it, heavy and hard, you know. Hard use. Hard commercial use. Let's see. We believe it worked itself loose. So Scott's on his way. The guys are coming back with a skid loader and we're gonna load this and do another trailer. You wanna pull forward? Yeah. Cool. These dump trailers, they uh, they don't leave a big pile that pours in the street. You got to pull forward to get get all the material out, which actually works in our favor in a case like this. Well, whether, whether we bent and or broke something, or a lot of times if you end up with some nuts coming loose when you hit the brakes, you'll get the axle to twist, and that will cause the tires to touch. Well, we'll see if we can we can we'll see if we can get this axle back and get this thing home. Nice work. Marcelo took a ratchet strap. We're just trying to get this back to the yard. And we just got it. We have a bent U, U bolt, and who knows when we get under there what else we'll find. But hopefully not much. I don't want to. 
see what money we made today go into uh, into parts for the dump trailer. But the guys are on their way with the uh, skid loader. They're going to bring one of our yard loaders. They're going to bring a... Uh, we got a little cat front, front end loader. They're going to bring that out. And then we're just going to put this dirt in a couple of vehicles. Always an adventure, that's for sure. Okay, I never take a minute off. The water jumped the road right here and it washed out the shoulder. So we're going to take our fill and we're going to... You can see all the road gravel that's been washed. There's gravel. And you see how the, the road's falling apart because when this happens, then it undermines the road. And so we're going to get a skid loader. We're going to end up with a small cat. And uh, we're just going to take care of this, fix this. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. And now I feel as if this this very clean dirt because this isn't clay this is like a sandy gravel it just happened to be where we we're working it does have tree roots in it but we're going to pull those out no they didn't leave me out here for dead the cavalry arrived just trying to get situated we were so bored Sitting on the side of the road waiting for, because uh, we never leave a man behind. Come on now. So we were waiting for the guys because they were going to unload. They actually were loaded pretty heavy too and uh, load up the machine. We were so bored, and I'm, I'm not making this up. This is, this is the God's truth. We were so bored that Marcelo and I were actually watching Chuck dig up an NDS easy drain live on a Friday night swear to God I am not making that up so that's how bored we were we were that bored so anyways we're gonna get the skid loader off the trailer and we're gonna help out the road commission because this shoulder is way too low and we're gonna take this sand and gravel and fix the shoulder and then we're gonna get the hell out of here Believe it or not, this is kind of normal. Like this kind of thing being our Friday night, <laughs> it's never boring. Never. So the road commission's out here filling these, these low spots on the shoulder. Valentine's picking the roots out. Thank you, Valentine, for picking those roots out. That's hey. You're not road commission, you're French drain guys.
wonder if we can build a road commission. I don't know who to send the bill to for fixing their shoulder of the road. Not too bad in that thing, you know? He can drive that cat pretty decent, huh? Yeah. Man, that that just took him a couple minutes. Wow. That's looking that's looking good. See what's been happening? Road's all busted up. Water always jumps the road right here, and when it washes all that material away, it weakens the side of the road. It's looking good! Very nice work! Well, just another Friday night for us, huh? <laughs> it's always something. Well, we don't have any brooms, but we'll just take our shoes and clean the street up real good along the edges. And then we're gonna head back. All right, it's, it's Saturday. The guy's uh, right here, the leaf spring. You can see how the axle moved. There was a step in the road. There was a step in the road. There was road construction. And when the trailer hit that, loaded as heavy as it was, it bent the U-bolts and it just shifted the axle. But we got away with just having to replace the U-bolts. So that is awesome. The guys are already out in the field installing it's saturday so we're going to get this trailer up and running so come monday it's back in service again and honestly this is this is like best case scenario just some bent u-bolts